Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder of Selector Sub. Request you please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to get all the upcoming updates and innovation on Selector Sub, SK Studio or any new tool. Thank you. So, you know that we can generate X path for an element relative to other element using Selector Sub automatically. Recently, uh, I have got a lot of suggestions from many people that can we have this feature but we have this feature already in selector sub and it was launched with uh, selector sub 4.0 so i thought to create another separate video i have already created a video that how can we generate the access based x path through selector sub automatically so i thought like uh, it was not very obvious to many people so creating this another tutorial here and I'm sure like this will help you that uh, to understand that yes you can generate the x path relative to other elements using uh, x path relative to other element so let's see this one how can we do this quickly just two clicks you will have to do and you would be able to generate x path for an element related to other uh, relative to other element so for an example if suppose we have to generate x path for training relative to test case studio how can we do that simply just open selector sub so you know that you just have to inspect and click here and open selector sub here and now we want to generate x path for training with respect to test case studio so what we will have to do just click on this access button here so this is the button where, where you will have to click whenever you want to generate relative x path to other element click on this and here first it is asking to inspect your parent so this is blinking here so inspect the parent element parent element is the one with respect to which you want to generate the x path so here we want to generate x path with respect to test case studio so first we will inspect test case studio and which is the final element the target element for which we want to generate that is training so now inspect the training and there you go so this is the x path has been generated by selector sub for training with respect to test case studio suppose you want to generate for pi recordings with respect to let's say training so first uh, or let's say test case studio so first inspect test case studio and then inspect training this by recordings and there you go and whenever you want to use this x path in your script you just click here to copy this x path and you see that the previous x path is also here if you want to edit this x path or you want to verify or want to do some modification just click on this it will come here copy and paste here and here you can modify you can change and verify this and if you want to generate a new x path for some other element that again you can do like let's say we want for uh, here we want for uh, let's say we want for safari with respect to chrome so first we will inspect chrome and then we will inspect this uh, firefox so there you go so this is how you can generate x path for any element and suppose by mistake you inspected any parent which you doesn't want it to and this got like now it is asking you to inspect the child but you want to change the parent so in that case very simply you can reset these thing reset these value just click on this access button again and click again so now it is reset again it is asking you to inspect the parent so you can inspect parent and then child very simple this is a simple scenario it could be a complex one let's say we go to a e-commerce website or very in general like most of the cases where we write this kind of x path where we write generate in this kind of scenario where whenever you will see the form input box and label generally we write this kind of x path in this kind of scenario like here email field we want to generate x path for this enter your email field with respect to email id and more example let me show you here like on this page we want to generate for this box here x path for this box with respect to this user email so how can we generate that so simply inspect the element open selector sub and click on this axis here we came now simply inspect this first inspect the element with respect to which you want to generate this user email and we want for this email box click on this so here it has generated now 
for any other element like on this page if you want to generate for this one sorry let me open selector sub click on access you want for this enter your email box there you go you want for password field with respect to label just inspect this password first and then inspect this box so this is how you can generate like on flipkart website you want for mobiles with respect to top offers or you want for top offers with respect to mobiles so open inspect this one here open selector sub let's say we want to generate xpath for top offers with respect to mobiles so click on access button here first inspect mobiles then inspect the target element for which you want to generate and there you go more scenarios like it could be any anything like wherever you want so suppose here we want to generate x path for this price with respect to this total amount so first what we will do so here you see that we need to ins uh, reset this value because it is asking you to inspect the child because it is in currently selected this element because the page was refreshed so here we'll click and come back now inspect the total amount here first and then inspect your price so we have generated x path for this price with respect to this one if you want to generate like x path with respect to some other element like let's say for an example here we inspect here for this one let's say we want to generate x path for this box with respect to email id so you see that we inspect first this email id then we inspect this enter your email it has generated with placeholder but we don't want with placeholder so what we can do before you start generating your x path you set your filters here attribute filters so uncheck this placeholder and now let's inspect the same thing again inspect both the elements and see the magic it has generated with some other attribute so whatever attribute you want you can use this attribute filter if you want this with the command as well like driver dot find element this you want to use this command feature yes you can use this one so before generating you will have to set these things before generating the xpath now we have turned on this uh, command thing and the at attribute as well let's inspect the element now let's do this one password and then password field so here it has generated with command so simply you can copy uh, you can copy this and go back to your editor you can paste this directly so this will be very fast very easy and very convenient and it will save a huge amount of time for you so this way you can generate x path for an element with respect to other element using selector sub just by simply few clicks two clicks i hope this video will help you this will help you guys a lot to learn lots of new things and this feature will save a lot lot more time for you and if you want to learn more such concepts concepts how you can write your own xpath uh, access space xpath relative xpath and more concepts related to shadow dom iframe etc because these days lots of uh, applications are introducing shadow dom in their website and people are not yet aware how to handle them how to handle iframe shadow dom concepts together so all those things i used to teach in this training so i would highly recommend if you are an automation test engineer you are writing automation script definitely you should join this training this will training will improve your productivity and knowledge the core concepts related to selectors web element dom etc will improve a lot you can read the feedback here and join this training this training will definitely help you and if time and doesn't uh, time and date doesn't suit you you can also check out these recordings and get these recordings so thank you thank you so much for watching Please keep sharing selectors of let others know about this great innovation. This will definitely save a lot of time for you guys and for your colleague friends. Thank you. Thank you so much.